Welcome to Hotness Issue Today, The Hit. Please like, follow, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Today, I have on the World News Mask, and I'd like to talk about this earthquake that hit Morocco. It was devastating. There have been over 2,000 reported deaths. It's just sad. 2,000 reported deaths. And there's still over 10,000 missing. So most likely that death toll is going to be a lot higher than uh, what it is now. But uh, it's sad. I don't know what has to happen in the world for everybody to recognize that and accept that there's global warming going on and as a whole, all the major countries do their part in, and I'm not talking about equal part, I'm talking about their fair part, you know, it's, uh, it's not equal. When you're talking about the United States, China, Russia, it's not equal. We should be doing more, you know, more than our fair share because we're causing a lot of these things around the globe. That was a uh, 6.8 magnitude earthquake. Uh, it's just um, pretty much enough to just wipe everything out and my thing is you know it's not like you know they have FEMA like we have so these people a lot of them are just going to be out of luck and 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 uh, devastated for the rest of their life you know rebuilding but the thing about it is, is rubble everywhere. So even when you try to clean up, where do you put the stuff? You know, you know, and and um, people are gonna do what they can. That's what people do. Try to survive. Try to make a living. Try to provide for their family and friends and. Hopefully, um, neighborhoods and communities try to come together and help one another. But all of this happened, you know, in a matter of minutes. And it's going to take decades. After decades, they won't even be back to where they were before the earthquake. They only can be back to some you know, acceptable um, new norm where they can hopefully not have to experience anything else major. And that's what typically happens. You know, you have, you know, something that's as devastating as this, and then a couple of years later or within a couple of years, something else happens. Um, where there's another um, weather-related incident, or it could just be famine or disease, you know, suppose COVID was to happen now, you know, or a new strain of COVID, you know, comes out and hits them, then what, you know, I don't think they have much now in the um, form of hospitals and all of that, so Maybe in a few years from now, you know, what's going to be the big difference? They're going to be able to get aid from, you know, other countries and all of that. But that's not the same as building a hospital, you know, having some tents and some some um, shelters and some other um, trailers where, you know, that are makeshift hospital facilities. But... You can't have a, so many of those 
because you need doctors and nurses and all of that to run those. And when they get out in the rural areas, all of that gets thin. And so all they need is famine or disease. And that might, you know, almost wipe them out. So, you know, I'm hoping that, you know, the United States and some of these other major countries, you know, do their P part to help them, you know, and I would hope that, you know, Russia and Ukraine can, you know, stop fighting and, you know, some of this aid that countries are spending, sending to Russia and Ukraine for a war that don't need to happen, they can uh, redirect, you know, that aid in other needed forms to Morocco. But, you know, I don't hear anybody talking about it, so I'm hoping enough people will make some noise and because uh, I know I know the United Nations is meeting, and maybe somebody will bring it up there that they need to, um, you know, redirect aid to Morocco because it's going to take a lot. But the thing about it is, you know, it's going to be another thing and another thing until global warming gets under control, and you know we're going to be washed away earthquake the way, fire driven away, you know, and and uh we're we're just not gonna survive as as people. You know, I've I've said it a long time ago that one is too many people on the earth anyway and the earth can't support, you know, the number of humans on on the earth. We're losing you know, the animals, you know, but keep, you know, as much as we um, lose all of these people, it's still not enough, you know, we're not going to live right, we can't have all of these people either, it's just the balance is off between, you know, nature and man, and Man has decided they're not part of nature, and that's the problem. You know, we have to get back in balance with nature, and that means the environment, and that means countering global warming, and it can be done. We're supposed to be so intelligent, you know, it can be done. If we don't know what to do, we definitely have a list of things of what we shouldn't be doing and what not to do. So if we could just do that, uh, I'm pretty sure it would help. So prayers to Morocco, along with a whole lot of other places experiencing these disasters. This has been Hot Mess Issue today. The hit. Please like, follow, and subscribe to my YouTube channel.